Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this object or column wipe in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is going to work best with a clip where a straight line or object doesn't have to be per perfectly straight, wipes from the entire top to bottom of the frame all the way from the left to the right. So in this case, we have this garage pillar that wipes all the way from the left, and you have the people and the objects behind it all the way to the right of the frame. So it does a clean line, kind of wiping all the way from the left to the right. Now in this case, it doesn't fully extend from the top to the bottom. So I could simply just extend out using the shadow, or I could scale up just a little bit and then move the position so that we do get that fully clean line. Now I'm basically gonna wanna follow the furthest out line or whatever line I want, but in this case it makes sense for me to follow this corner line. So I'm gonna follow it all the way from that frame to this frame. And in order to do that, we're gonna to go to the very start where the first sort of frame appears. I actually like to start a little bit past that so where we can see the entire line and then we can clean up those few frames before after. Now there's two ways you could do this, by hand or manually. If you do have a simple object, I would recommend trying it this first way first. So we're gonna to go to the opacity section. You can either use the four point polygon or pen tool. And we're gonna create a mask on basically this line or this object. So I'm just gonna extend these points out a little. You can add new points if you need. And then I'm going to do the other side. Now, if you make sure you toggle animation on the mask path, so it adds a keyframe here. You can also adjust the mask feathering, that's the amount of softness, and the expansion, so you can kind of cut it in or out. I recommend not letting any of this like light contrast escape. So maybe cut it in a little bit, add a slight amount of feather. And then what, what I'm gonna do is press this play button, it'll track the selected mask forward. So it'll try to follow these lines frame by frame, and add a keyframe each time they move and keep your mask on them. This won't work all the time, but it will work well for simple like lines and 2D motions like this. So once it finishes, I can play this back and I can see it's followed this little front face of the pillar all the way to the right. Now I can go back to that first keyframe. I can just zoom in here, I can see all these keyframes that were made. If I click this right or back arrow key, I can get all the way back to the first keyframe and then just do the same thing for the track selected mask backwards button. So this will pick up those last few frames. So now we've tracked this mask all the way from when this pillar appears, all the way wiping across the whole screen. But of course we do still want the video to appear on the right hand side. So I can actually just create one more mask in this case. I can just go again, start like a little bit when your object starts. I'll add a four point polygon mask in this case, this is going to be pretty easy because we have a, a very large um, room for error. I'm basically going to start at the middle of this border. You see now we have mask 2 adding on here, but we're also going to add a mask path here. This one we can just do it by hand. So I'm simply going to move over every couple frames and just move the entire mask to keep in keep a line with the, the middle of that pillar. And I probably only need a few keyframes for this. So like that, and also as it moves backwards, keep it backwards so that the whole thing is in frame. So I'm, I'm just going to play this back. I can even use the arrow keys on my keyboard just to watch it frame by frame. And I can just make sure that everything stays within the, these two boundaries and it, it essentially does. So if it didn't, you just go back and fix like, like here, right here. I might want to add one more keyframe. I overextended it a little bit, but now it works. So we've essentially masked out the pillar and then filled in the right half again. And this black portion is transparent. If you ever did want to see what's going on on your mask so that you can adjust it, you can also turn off the effects badge for the opacity. So you can, maybe if you needed to push the edge a little bit, do that. 
And you can always go in here and adjust any frame that you want if, if it didn't do a good job automatically doing it. But now if I take this clip and put it on a higher video track, so like video track two or three, anything I put underneath it will show through. So in this case, if I put another clip underneath it, that will show through. And since we started from a full frame all the way to an empty frame, we essentially create a transition once the clip reaches here. I can even just grab my cut tool and just chop the rest of that clip off because I don't need it and transition into this other clip. So when I press play here, you see it acts as a really cool mask transition and boom, we're into the next clip like that. Now, the other way that you'd have to do this if you couldn't automatically track the mask is just doing it by hand. So in that case, you'd kind of do the same exact process, but you could probably just use one mask and you'd add a keyframe and then, but then you'd simply just go sort of every few frames and manually adjust all your points and your mask. It could still be pretty quick if you have a simple linear wipe like this, but if you had a little bit more of a complicated moving object, then it might take more time, but you can still do it this way just by hand. And I have other tutorials on doing it with like someone walking by same idea, but it just takes more tedious work masking frame by frame. But you see, you could still do a similar idea. I would probably take more time just to make sure the edge follows, but you could do it hand by hand like that. Same idea. Just put anything else underneath and now you're into this new clip. So if you enjoyed this video, you could check out hundreds of more in the playlist on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all my new videos. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.